Hello everyone and welcome to VSF Christmas 2015 episode 13. My name is Jay Wakefield. Now, those of you who know me will know that um, I am not into films or books where people are killed or die. However, oddly enough, that doesn't seem to be the case for video games. You see, I probably should explain. Unfortunately, due to my depression, and I guess <clears throat> my Asperger syndrome has a hand to play in this as well. If I watch something where someone is killed or dies or seriously injured, I really, really start, you know, my mind will just kind of on its own start to obsess over it. And, you know, before I know where I am, I won't be able to focus on anything. I'll be just totally depressed, just totally gone miserable as yeah <clears throat> however for video games you know i'm okay with those because i don't know i think there's an element of realism that is in the tv and in books that you really don't get with video games so today i thought i would bring you a christmas themed game um now this is something that uh, lazy game reviewer covered last year on his channel it's called Vesra cleanup detail Santa's Rampage and it's basically a Christmas version of the Viscera cleanup detail it's basically I mean this takes it um, from a completely different angle um, you know instead of having a game where you're actually kind of blowing folk up and killing folk and what have you this is kind of going from the point of view of well some poor sod's got to clean that up and um, you know as a protagonist of the Viscera Cleanup Detail game, you are that poor sod that's got to clean everything up. But, as with, um, you know, one of the good things about PC games is, they will put out Christmas editions, either for free or for very cheap, just as kind of a wee thank you for playing, thank you for being a good customer, or, you know, if you've not been a good customer, it's kind of like, hey, here's a festive game you might enjoy. And, you know, while you're enjoying that, you might actually think about like, you know, buying the full game, you know, if you've enjoyed this. So, um, yeah. So in this episode, as it were, Santa has went on some sort of a rampage. There's an avenue that's never been explored before. He lied. Sorry, Stuart, I shouldn't have took your bet. Really sorry about that. Hope you... Uh, please let me have it. Come on, it's Christmas. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so, um... Yeah, I mean, this, this whole kind of Santa getting really mad and just going postal thing, it seems to be a bit of a theme with uh, certain games. Um, I'll see, you know, there's another game that um, I want to actually do. Um, I'll, well, I want to actually uh, see if I can do during this VSF Christmas special season. Um, that kind of uh, has that as its storyline. In fact, yeah. But... Um, this this whole business of Santa just kind of jacking everything and then going postal, that is to say, you know, just killing everything in sight, is a kind of a theme that seems to be explored in video games. And, you know, and, and the idea of Santa going postal actually does not seem that um, too far-fetched. Because, I mean, you, you imagine... <coughs> You imagine, okay, like, the, the British slash American version of Santa Claus, you know, fit, you can fit, like, he, you know, you you put your list to Santa Claus, you know, you say what you want, and then, you know, he somehow gets that list, and, you know, the elves at the workshop kind of make all these toys, and, and then Santa's got to load up his sleigh, and then somehow, in one night, has to deliver all of these presents to all of the kids. You know, and it's... There was a mathematical equation, you know, literally how, how long Santa's got to spend doing that. And it's, it would be physically impossible for any kind of human to do. You know, if, you know, if we're going to assume that Santa's human, which I guess a lot of folk do, um, you know, it's just, it's mathematically impossible for Santa to deliver presents to every boy and girl in the world in one night. Um... But, you know, we'll get around that. You know, let's let's say Santa, you know, can do this. You know, mathematically able to do this. He... 
obviously it's going to be a very very huge undertaking and he's going to be very stressed out by the end of it so you know and the fact that he's he's got to kind of work his elves and what have you and just he'll get all the right presents and what have you and check to see you know every boy and girl has been naughty or nice i mean that on its own would probably take years so <clears throat> it's no you know the the idea that he gets stressed out and basically loses it in a big way I could see that happening, you know. Pressure does terrible things to otherwise perfectly rational people. But back to the game. This in this game, you know, Santa's obviously done all the damage, and you've you've basically got to try and clean everything up. And um, it's not as easy as it seems. So without further ado, I think we'll um, I think we'll get started here. So basically you're armed with your mop and um, you know you have to kind of go and get you know a bucket of water you got to clean up but you know make sure you don't um, make sure you don't use the um, oh you can jump um, yeah. uh, make sure you don't actually um, use the water too much otherwise you'll make things worse so what we're just gonna, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have a wee playthrough um, so basically, here's the thing, and I'm, I've already forgotten the buttons. Come on, what's the button to interact? Come on, I know this. Oh, yeah, there we go. So we've got a couple of things. You've got your hands, which are kind of needed for carrying buckets and that. Um, this is kind of like a Geiger counter, except for blunt. And then you've got your mop. So what I need to do at the moment, oh jeez, well done Jay, is carry this bucket. I think what I'll do is I'll start in here because this is where I, this is where I, you know, I was actually spawned. Wait a minute, there's no water here. I spilled all the what? The buckets disappeared. What's all that about? The buckets just went and disappeared. How ridiculous can you get? And I'm sorry if there's any audio. What? Now the buckets respawned over there? Empty? Blah. Jings. Right, okay. So that didn't work too well. So what we'll do is we'll go back here, and I'm probably making it look a lot more difficult than it needs to look. Right. Good. Now let's actually do some mopping. So this is basically kind of a janitor simulator. So, you know, let's let's see if we can get the uh, brush clean, and and then you just kind of go around, kind of cleaning things up. Obviously, as you do clean things up, you know your brush will turn red. You will maybe want to think about rinsing your brush off. Otherwise, you'll end up kind of just mopping the blood elsewhere and that is really really quite gruesome um oh yeah and there's bits of um, eviscerated elves to uh, take care of as well which is um yeah quite nice i love that you've got your see what i mean actually you know the blood i just um i inadvertently um and sometimes it's a bit difficult to kind of reach a bucket exactly now, the elves. What you need to do with the bits of elf that you find is you drop them into this box here. There we go. Um, and then just, you know, it's a good idea to kind of get rid of the elves because, you know, they, they will be bleeding hard all over. And so, best thing to do is just, you know, try and get rid of them. I mean, yeah, if you want, you can be boring and drop them in the box, you know, like that. You know, that's, that's absolutely fine. Um, I'll, 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 oh, my goodness. A head. Gems. That'd haunt your nightmares. Right, 
yeah, I mean, this game I would not necessarily... This game you just... I mean, I, I'm pretty liberal when it comes to age ratings on games, you know. I, I make no secret about that. In fact, I would say I'm pretty obnoxious about it, actually. But this is one of those games where I would probably say, don't get to your kids. Get them nightmares. Teenagers, fine, but, you know... If you're gonna let kids in the single digits play this game, then there's something. You're a better run in the heat. And this is me saying that, but, um, then again, I guess, you know, we've all got different tastes and what have you. It takes lots, I suppose. Right, oh, one minute. Right. So what I can do is I'll, I'll just kind of clean this wee room. Trouble is, you know, it's just like in real life, a blooming trailing blood in anyway. Alright, so this bucket of water is now, you know, just completely red. So that means, you know, if I tried to, um, if I tried to clean it up, now, if I tried to, oh, shit, I mean, I'd clean that up nicely. Right, now this bucket of water is, you know, it's, it's, it's spent, you know, if I try and clean my mop in that, it's just going to come out as bloody as ever. So, I think the best thing to do with that is grab one of these. And I'm sorry if this is showing any kind of audio video sync issues and any kind of like uh, other issues like that. Alright, so what I need to do, I've got that, and I'm guessing what I need to do with, I'm, I'm guessing at this point I need to put the bucket in there. Um, I'm sorry if that is uh, the the wrong way to do it, but um, that that's um, this. Oh, ah, jangs. No, that's not what I want to do. Okay, I can't. Oh dear. So I need to find a way to. Nearly. I think. Is it? And then. Just gonna, I wanna upright this time. Yes! There we go, kind of. Um, ah! Jings. Oi, you crab! Welcome to Awkward Controls 101. Ah, oh, Jings. No! That can happen as well. You can literally. Yeah, you can literally spill the bucket over, and in the words of the Lazy Game Reviewer, reviewer you're going to hate yourself. So, I mean, what I'm going to need to do now is spend more time fucking cleaning up the blood that was... Ugh. <laughs> right, good. But this, this doesn't usually take too long to clean... That. But I mean, this, you know, you are wasting water that, you know, you'll have to spend time to collect at the end. Just get this cleaned up. Right, okay, I think, um, and just gonna clean up there. And then just, there we go. There we go. I think this room is nice and clean now. Uh, well, apart from that, can I clean the bed? In the bucket. Do I clean the bucket? Alright, so we've got a nice clean room apart from that. Alright, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll pick up that elf hand. You geese a hand! <laughs> and gee, and gee a hand if you need. <laughs> Ah, uh, jings. Bad joke. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Just a, a generic... Where'd that go? I banged it. Bumped into the bar. Jings. Alright. I think, um, good. So that's full of elf. Um... Gonna scar you for Christmas. 
scary for life. Every Christmas, you're thinking about the dead elves. Alright. Okay, then. So, I mean, I, I don't know what these... I don't know what these hazmat boxes are for, is it? You know, because I, I, I would have thought that you'd, you know, kind of put, like, special cleaning fluid in there. Ah, oh, James. Oh, well. Now, you could put the elves in the box, you know, like, do it properly. Or... How about some elf kebabs? Toast them like a s'more. And then I wonder why I don't have a gal friend. Jones Crevins. But I think I think the reason I mean this game it does have quite a lot of humour in it. Like, you know, the the stuff that you can do and the, you know the fact that you can you know put elves into the fire the fact that they've even made a fire available to for you to do that it's just like it was kind of like one of as elmo 3 would say it's kind of like one of those um things you know <laughs> oh let me hack got to get another bucket james all right what a bucket good 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 Oh, there we go. Here we go. Bucket of water. Thanks. Now this is something that um, probably will not seem realistic at all in California. <laughs> you can spawn a bucket of water. Oh well. Perhaps all this water has been provided by the good folks at Nestle for a high price. No, they're not good. It might be Christmas, but that's no excuse to stop being a, a horrible, smelly liberal. That is a Giga counter, and it is on. Actually, no, it isn't. But I think this is the year that Donald Trump actually uh, stood in for Santa Claus. <laughs> oh, jeez. Either someone's dumped a whole batch of rosé into that bucket, or I'm going to need to get a new one soon. Right. Time to blooming kebab these elves. There we go. Enjoy. You know, it's gonna be pure hoaching in here. Oh look, bottle of whiskey. Or an empty whiskey bottle. See This is where alcohol can do more harm than good. Seriously. And you can't uh, I'm sorry, but you can't Since, since when did you ever hear of anyone going on a rampage on weed? That doesn't happen. If someone on weed would be like, you're hurting my buzz, man. Whereas alcohol makes people violent and then stuff like this happens. And that doesn't mean to say I'm a tea don't worry, because, I, well, actually, I do drink a lot of tea, but, um, uh, you know, not tea total for alcohol, but... You know, just just look at what it does, and it's perfectly legal. And then there's cannabis that is completely illegal. I don't know what to do with these at that point. I can't use the hazmat. I probably should read the instructions on how to use the hazmat boxes. There we go. I love this is a very powerful fire because it can actually melt metal. <laughs> I should 
I should have probably read the help screens, seriously. Um, right. This is what the commercialization of Christmas has brought us. Look at this. Although I wasn't complaining as a kid. Oh yeah, and here's where you you know the machine starts handing out random organs. That's 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 very nice. See you know what I mean? Now it's now it's just trolling me. And an elf heart. I'm pretty sure that has magical properties, but um. a lot of blood from a fresh bucket of water. Oh, that went well. Seriously, it's a good job yet. It's a good job I don't work as a contracted cleaner for uh, Aberdeen Royal. I, I, I would not be any good at it. I promise you. But then again, you should. Oh, me... my blood Geiger counter thingy is going absolutely ballistic. Yep, this is the only time you will ever see a hazmat box being thrown into a fireplace. Get clean, you! Ah, get off and mock it in here. Come on, you. Oh, the sun's coming out here. <laughs> Ironically enough. <laughs> Been all, it's been Greek all morning. Aye. There we go. I had some support this morning, so that was good. You know, so I'm feeling at least a wee bit better now. You know, despite having to clean up eviscerated elves. So like I said, I mean this game, you can you can tell it's not too real, you know. I mean look at the mop, look at the mop, the mop looks kinda scary than it should, but you know, I mean it's I I Oh shit. Right. <laughs> tell you what I'll do. <laughs> Dynamite! hell am I going to do with that? <laughs> that went so well. Wait a minute. I've just died. That's a good um, spot to end that video on, don't you? <laughs> well, that was Santa's, uh, that was uh, Visceral Cleanup Detail, Santa's Rampage. Is this game any good? Well, as you've just seen, it is very funny. And um, I think I might play it some more after putting this video together. Um, but, for the time being, um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to subscribe, to like videos on Frontier on Facebook, and to follow me on Twitter. Um, but until then, thank you for watching, and please join me for my next video. Cheerio.